Want to learn to create engaging reaction videos? Then keep watching. Hi, I'm Yasmin, and this is the Everyday Creative Series. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. So I was lucky enough to act in my first commercial last year, and I want to look back and create a reaction video about the experience. To do this, I'm going to be using Wondershare Demo Creator. Now let's get ready to record in Demo Creator. I need to include my screen recording and also the face cam footage from the camera to see my reaction. In this pop-up window, I'll select the recording area, in this case, a target window that has the video I'm going to watch. I'll also choose my recording devices, mic, camera, and computer, because I want my viewers to hear the sound from the video. Now that everything is set up, let's react. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, that hair flip. Now that I'm done recording, I'll press stop and both my screen capture video and my camera video will appear on Demo Creator's timeline. Let's set the position and size of my reaction camera first. In reaction videos, it's important to see what you're actually reacting to. So I'll put my face cam in the lower right side of the screen. I can edit my video right in Demo Creator by simply clicking on the split icon and cutting the sections I don't want in my video. There are a lot of ways I can customize my reaction in Demo Creator. I can add titles, stickers, transitions, and effects that will keep my audience engaged. I'm going to add stickers. Let's open the Stickers tab and browse animations. I like this one. To add it, I just have to drag and drop it onto my video. I can customize its size and placement too. Looks good. Now I'm going to add some more. I think I'm done adding stickers. Let's add another important part of my reaction video, the intro and outro. I already had some created for my channel, so all I have to do is bring them into my project by importing the file into my timeline. I'll click on import, select import media files, and select the file. Then I just drag and drop it into the timeline. I want to add a transition between the intro and my reaction, so I'll click on the Transitions tab. I think I like this Ripper one. Let's drag that in and then choose one for the outro too. My reaction video is ready. Time to export. I can either save it onto my hard drive or upload directly to YouTube. I hope this video inspires you and shows you what you can do in Demo Creator. This process also works for any picture-in-picture -picture video, such as gaming and tutorials. I'll leave the link to download the free trial of Demo Creator in the description below. Don't forget to check out our last video and let me know what you'd like to see next. See you soon and stay creative.